um, I want to commend the, the commissioners uh, for at least extending his um, suspension. I don't think that officer needs to be on the street right now. You know, I personally think he shouldn't be an officer, but I don't think he needs to be on the street. No one has talked about training about these officers, and they need to have ongoing training. He approached that car angry. He was angry because she didn't pull over when he wanted her to. I drive that street every day to work. And there's really no place to safely pull over. And if I'm a woman, I'm not going to pull over with an officer until I can get into a public domain where I feel safe. You as the commissioners have a job to govern everybody in this community, not just your own private little pockets of where you live and you support your own community, but everybody in the community. And I don't hear anything about the training or the goals or objectives tied into his evaluation. Ernie McNeely needs to do work with that department and set up some kind of plan so that this does not continue to happen. There is a pattern of behavior from officers in this community that stop black and brown people all the time. Yes. Yes. Go back and look. Go back and look. Yes. Yes. There is a pattern. And when you guys spoke, we all sat very quietly and we listened to everything that you had to say. We didn't interrupt, we didn't call out, and we didn't do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, this one, please, please refer so, to the board. Yes, so I, I just want to commend you. I really think that he's not safe on the street. I want to hear more about what you're going to do moving forward so that this doesn't happen. I want to hear about training that they really need to be responsible for. I think that there needs to be something in place, objectives or things that they need to meet, and especially for this <coughs> officer if you're going to put him back on the street. And there needs to be some accountability. There has to be or someone is going to get hurt. They want to get home safely to their families and we want to get home safely to our families. And the only way we're going to do this and figure this out is if we work together and he has to be punished for his behavior. Because if he would have went up to that car in a whole different manner, in a whole different way, I don't think we would have been here today. But he escalated. And because he was escalated, she got escalated. And if she, if he would have remembered the training that he, they, this um, young uh, guy said that he does, then none of this would have happened. He threw that all out of the window because he got angry because she didn't do what he wanted her to do right then and there. And you can't operate like that, or someone's going to be hurt. Somebody's not coming home, and it's either going to be one of them, or it's going to be us. Yeah,